Virgo, welcome back to Shacy Tarot. For those of you returning and for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. I hope you're all, all having a great day. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the 1960s and 70s combined tarot cards. They're vintage and they're awesome. For those of you that haven't seen them, this is a general reading. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. For those of you that are brand new, welcome to the channel. And in order for you to get in on the free bracelet stone giveaway, they're absolutely free. I hand make them. This is the I am enough. If you can see that one, this is authentic healing stones that I handpicked because I found I needed three or four bracelets to make up this one bracelet. If that's something you're interested in, I give away three each month. At the end of this video, it will show you playlists where the previous winners have been announced. Again, three each month. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel. It's free. Like this video, that's free. Hit the notification bell, that's free. And leave a comment down below. Like the Facebook page, leave me a message there, recommendation or Instagram, whichever one you prefer. We are are mostly on Facebook that qualifies you to get in every month for the healing stone bracelet giveaway if you don't win this month I move your names to the following month so not to worry you have a chance to continually win okay let's get started take what resonates leave what doesn't remember it's a general reading this can play out from the cross watchers perspective and welcome cross watchers we couldn't do this without you either so welcome Welcome to Shacy Tarot. You can go to shacy.com for a personal reading if you wish to do so. Everything you could possibly want is down in the description area, okay? Let's check it out for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 2020. What are the messages that Virgo needs to hear for their highest good? I will continue this reading over on Vimeo. It's a continuation. It's another plus or minus 15 minutes. So if this resonates for you, you may want to consider checking that out, okay? I will focus on May. We're going to do a sneak peek for May on there, okay? So for those of you this resonates with, check out the link down below in the comment section and or the description area. It's there as well. And let's get started. Virgo, please. I've been meditating on your cards for a while. For Virgo, please. You're starting to hop. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For April, please. 2020. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <laughs> Okay, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. You may be a mother of your children or dealing with the mother of children. This Empress is somebody who's very abundant, nurturing. A lot of people go to this Empress for advice, for um, clarification. This is a mature type of person, mother, that people look up to. This could be you, okay? But you could also be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra or your own mother. This can also represent that, you know, um, you've become pregnant. And if you have, congratulations. That's for some of you, not all of you. Let's find out. Who is this Empress, please, for Virgo? Who is this Empress for Virgo, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who is this Empress for Virgo? Wow, okay, there is a very deep bond between you and this person, okay? Or this may be how you're feeling, Scorpio. It could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, or a Leo. Whoever it is you're trying to have, or your member, this can play out from the cross watcher's perspective. It could be anybody around you, okay? It could be. This could mean that you have feelings for a very deep connection to a Taurus, a Libra, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, or a Leo. This is... You know, sometimes they call this twin flame union, your other half. The angel's trying to bring two people together. It's a connection like no other. It's very, very deep. It can also represent a partnership as well. It can be, but cups generally are about emotions. But whatever it is, you're, it's like you're trying to control yourself or tame yourself here. Hold yourself back maybe for whatever reason. Um, or a Taurus or a Libra, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, or Leo is doing this to you, whoever it is. It can be any sign, okay? Clarify the Two of Cups here, please. Clarify the Two of Cups here, please, for Virgo. Okay, there's been heartbreak here between the two of you. Uh, maybe you've had to go speak to some counselors, or maybe you've been speaking to other people about your relationship. You're deeply wounded here. You're deeply hurt, I feel, or vice versa. This can be talking to family members. It can be even talking to your own mother about a deep connection you have, some heartbreak. This can be indica this can indicate third party. Um, when I say third party, it's anybody that interferes in your relationship, okay? It can be a friend, it can be a co-worker, it can be family, it can be another love interest, a third party triangle, it can be a child of yours, okay? It can be your own mother, mother-in-law, whoever is interfering in your relationship, it's causing some heartbreak here. I feel like you're trying to maintain your strength here, your self-control, and um, again, it's a very deep connection, 
it's a very deep connection to somebody and you may be talking to others about this or they are talking about others to you about this deep connection they have with you okay now the three of pentacles can also indicate attorneys counselors like again maybe you're seeking counseling uh, together in a relationship sometimes this is a mother of children you may be a mother of somebody's children and you're seeking counseling over a third party heartbreak with your partner previous partner um, X, whatever the case may be, you're all going to be different. Remember, it's a general read. So if you do want a personal read, uh, that is more geared towards your energy. I will calculate your moon, your rising sign if you want a personal read, your Venus sign. You can also check in the playlist area for your moon sign and your Venus sign, etc., rising sign. Why is the Three of Pentacles here, please, for Virgo? Again, I will do a lot of clarification in the extended over on Vimeo. It'll be another plus or minus 15 minutes. And I'm also going to do more clarification with the traditional tarot. Now, sometimes you can get double, triple clarification of what's going on with you all. And I will be pulling some Mystic Moon Oracles as well. Okay. I'm going to pull some Love Oracles. Definitely. I absolutely dig a lot deeper. We're going to pull some awesome Moonology here. These are beautiful cards. That's messages and guidance messages from the universe. I'm going to do pick a card with the Romance Angels as well. So if that's something that you wish to check out, definitely it's worth it. Okay. It's a lot less expensive than a personal reading. It's still a general reading, but if this resonates for you, that might be all you wish to do. It's it's great, you know. All right, let's go ahead and check for the Three of Pentacles. Virgo would like to know, why is this Three of Pentacles here? What does the Three of Pentacles signify for Virgo? Wow, that's wanting to run out. Okay, so there may have been some confusion here. Somebody may have had a lot of choices or options, opportunities, and that can mean many different things. It can be, yes, there was another love interest that somebody took interest in, or maybe there was more than one. Maybe somebody has a problem with seeing more than one person. Um, but this can also be that somebody has been just overall overwhelmed with, with decisions or too many responsibilities that uh, it caused heartbreak. It can be that somebody that's been working too much and focused on too many different things instead of focusing on a relationship, putting too much effort into everything, anything else, rather than the relationship. It can mean that as well. Okay. Clarify the three of swords. Clarify the three of swords for Virgo. Okay, somebody's not trusting. You're blocking somebody or they're blocking you. This is like, I'm in self-protective mode. Don't you dare cross these boundaries. You may have had to set up boundaries with somebody because they were having third-party interference, again, either with another person. Uh, you're just not trusting somebody. I feel they had other options or opportunities, and you kind of set up the roadblock here. It's like, pfft, no. And I feel like you're deeply hurt. Um, or your person is, this could be both of you, and maybe you are seeking counseling, whatever this is, it was a very deep connection that you had or have with this person that you're thinking about, and you're trying to maintain your self-control here. You're, you're really taming yourself, holding back, setting boundaries, or like just putting up your wall. Uh, this could be doing this with you. Let's go ahead and check some mutual energies. It's definitely about a relationship here. If this isn't resonating for you at all, this, you know, this reading may not be for you, okay? You could check out the other Virgo readings I have done previously. What are the mutual energies, please, between Virgo and their person of interest? Let's check out Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. You could be dealing with an air sign, but this can also represent that somebody is not showing any emotion right now whatsoever they're completely closed off they're completely blocked off i have aquarius gemini libra libra taurus capricorn virgo libra again so there's strong air energy here somebody may have have uh, air and earth in their chart but also water and i have fire so i have all the elements here what does virgo need to know please what are the mutual energies between virgo and their person of interest for april 2020 I'm going to do a sneak peek. I'm going to focus on May in that extended for the continuation. So for those of you that are interested, I'll be sneak peeking at May. What are the mutual energies, please? Universe and spirits, angels between Virgo and their person of interest. How are they both mutually mirroring one another when it comes to this relationship? April 2020. What does Virgo need to know for their highest good? What does, wow, flying out. Okay, so you and your person here, whoever you're thinking about, this could just be you or them as well. Um, is focused on your retirement and long-term goals, okay? Somebody 
maybe blocking you off or you you're blocking them off completely because you're focused on the future your education your goals you're just it's kind of like I don't trust you stay away from me you, you broke my heart I'm going to concentrate on myself my goals my long-term retirement here so heck with you it could be um, so you may be showing them zero emotion right now and blocking them out or they're doing this to you okay what are the mutual energies please between Virgo dishonesty wow there you go yeah you or they are not maybe it's both of you aren't trusting one another you're blocking each other out okay whether that is phone calls texts any communication somebody is is completely blocked off here they're setting boundaries there was some kind of heartbreak here it can be third party it can be that somebody just didn't feel important enough uh, and so somebody was like, that's it, I'm done with you, you know, I'm obviously not important to you or else there has been somebody else in the picture here that has caused some serious heartbreak here. And it was at one time a very deep bond here. Um, the universe is saying it's a very deep soulful connection like your other half here. The universe has been trying to bring two people together. You may have considered counseling or maybe you're talking to attorneys or they're talking to attorneys. There's been heartbreak here for sure, absolutely. What is going on? One more, please, here for Virgo and their person of interest. How are they mutually mirroring one another when it comes to their relationship? April 2020, what does Virgo need to know, please, for their highest good? What are the messages they need to hear? Past love. So this may have been somebody from your recent past, okay, or past past, whatever the case is for you. But this is somebody that you've already known. Um, you may be blocking them out. You're like, no, I don't trust you. You've been dishonest. You broke my heart. I'm concentrating on my future. Get away from me. Um, again, or vice versa, this could be both of you doing this to each other. And again, um, I feel like this was a very deep connection, like your other half at one point in time here. Could have been somebody you're married to. Um, whatever the case may be, let's find out where we're going from here. I do want to pull a Moonology right now, just to give you a sample of the Moonology. I love, I'm in love with these cards. I truly am. And then we're going to pull more in the extended. I'm also going to pull some fortune cards for you in the extended as well. We're going to see where we're going from here for May, 2020. Okay. A fiery climax approaches. Ooh, we'll have to see where that's going. Virgo. Oh boy. And cross watchers. Leave me comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to hear from y'all. Expect powerful change. So something massive shift is coming for you and your person or you expect something big here to happen. I want to get one more card on this strength, please, spirits, for Virgo. What can you tell Virgo about the strength? Why is a strength card here for Virgo, April 2020? Why is a strength card here? What do they need to know for their highest good? They're just, they're wanting to fly out. I'm telling you, they did that all morning. Five of Cups. Okay, you're, you're trying to have a lot of strength right now and control yourself because you're really feeling the loss. You, This can be your person too. This can be both of you. It's kind of like, you know, whatever happened in the past with your past person here, there's some regrets about how everything played out. Maybe you're wishing that, or they're wishing, you both are wishing that you could change things the way this happened. Um, I feel like you're not talking to each other. You're both heartbroken. You're both feeling the loss. You're both feeling like maybe things could have been different. Um, this, this can be disappointment in a marriage, a commitment. Again, I have the three of pentacles. Maybe you're talking to attorneys or other people, friends, business partners, associates, family, whatever the case may be about how you have some regrets, how maybe, you know, I could have done this differently, could have done that differently. Instead of kind of moving on and realizing that there is still love in your life and moving forward, it's like you're focusing on what was, not what could be for the future. And there's certainly no lines of communication opened up here for you to be able to talk because I feel like you're both blocking each other here is what I'm seeing. Or again, you know, vice versa. One of you is blocking the other or both of you are blocking each other. Let's find out where we're going. Is or Do you have new love coming? Is there action being taken? Are the lines of communication going to open up here? Was this third party heartbreak possibly? Um, we're going to find out. Let's see how we improve what's coming in May 2020. If this is where you leave me, I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, which is free to get in the bracelet giveaway. Again, all that information you could ever want is down in the description box. I thank you again. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Most of all, stay positive because that truly helps overall. 
Okay, law of attraction. So if this is where you leave me, I'll see you next time. For those of you meeting me for the continuation on Vimeo, I will be right there. Namaste.